A compressor boosts the pressure of a gas, reduces the bulk of it and expands its density without turning it into a liquid. Gardner Denver reciprocating compressors can do this in a number of ways. A common factor between all compressors is that they all use some type of fuel, such as electricity or gasoline, to power the compression method they utilize. Also, because the compressor increases the pressure on the gas, it also elevates the temperature. Components of a Gardner Denver reciprocating compressor A reciprocating compressor utilizes pistons to compress air. The compressor has a comparable design to an internal combustion engine and it even looks similar. A central crankshaft drives anywhere from two to six pistons located inside cylinders. It is typically driven by an external motor that can be internal combustion or electric, compressing the gas. As the piston recoils, gas is inserted from a valve located in the compressor. It is injected into the cylinders and is then compressed and discharged either to be used right away by an air-filled machine or stored in compressed air tanks for later use. The gas, however, must be stored or used directly from the compressor so it doesn't lose its pressurization. Gardner Denver reciprocating air compressors are widely viewed as being workhorse compressors because of their robust durability. Industrial reciprocating compressors can operate in more severe duty environments while offering lower initial costs. Because of their lower maintenance costs, they are great for sporadic duty operation. They operate efficiently at partial loads and save energy in no load conditions, resulting in higher overall efficiency. Types of Gardner Denver reciprocating compressors. Single acting. On this type, the piston works only in one direction. The other end of the piston is often open or free where no work is performed. Double acting. As you can tell from its name, it uses both sides to compress the air. These type of compressors have two sets of intake, suction and exhaust, delivery valves on both sides of the piston. Inline compressors. Its name explains the design of the compressor. The cylinders are in a straight line when viewed from the top. They are most commonly used compressors where varying pressure is needed. V-shaped compressors. These are air-cooled compressors with parallel valves mounted on each cylinder head which are placed in a V-shape at a 90-degree angle from each other. For more detailed information regarding Gardner Denver reciprocating compressors and to get professional advice on choosing the right type to suit your needs, please call our office today to speak with one of our experts. Keep in mind that we specialize in a variety of advisory and installation services, all designed to help you get the most out of your equipment.